controversy does not refuse to die down with the Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli coming in direct confrontation with the House Committee regarding the hosting of the mega event. The Premier has clearly indicated his willingness to give green signal to the extravagant event. The general sense already prevails that it, is, it just does not become yet another case where the government ultimately has to withdraw the decision. Good morning, I'm Sarah Sapsanama and these are the top stories of the hour. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli terms the Parliamentary Committee's directive to halt the hosting of IFA award in Nepal as unjustified, says discussion on holding the event continue. Government backtracks from its decision to test imported fruits and vegetables for poisonous chemical residues. The decision likely to risk the health of Nepalese consumers. India unveils a new budget projecting the Indian economy to cross $3 trillion this fiscal year. Sanctions a grant assistance of 10.5 billion Indian rupees to Nepal. And Pakistan knock off Bangladesh by 94 runs, but the win not enough to take them to the semis. New Zealand clinches the fourth semi-final berth in the ICC World Cup. Let us begin with the latest national political updates. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has expressed his serious reservation towards Parliamentary International Relations Committee's directive to cancel the hosting of International Indian Film Academy IFA Awards in Nepal. Speaking at a program at the party office in Thumbadai yesterday, Premier Oli opined that it was unjustified on the part of the Parliamentary Committee to obstruct the government decision to host the IFA Award in Nepal. Oli added that even as the government has not reached a final decision on the hosting of the event or not, the country should host the event on conditions that it would benefit Nepal. In a different context, Prime Minister Oli said the government was doing exemplary work, but people were intentionally wearing masks to defame the government. Stating that rebuilding the nation needed greater sacrifices, Oli said personal disputes should not matter much for the best interest of the country. The other chairman of Nepal Communist Party, Pushpakamal Dahal, opined that conspiracies were underway to derail peace process by the politics of groupism. The program was organized for the official entry of leaders Devendra Parajuli, Kalpana Dhamala and Manu Humagai to the ruling NCP. And moving on, in a sudden move, the government has backtracked from monitoring the fruits and vegetables imported from India for harmful chemical residues. The government has withdrawn its decision to allow the imports only after checking the proportion of poisonous residues. This has come amid the Indian government's dissatisfaction over the halting of freight trucks carrying fruits and vegetables at the border transit from entering the country. On the recommendation of the Ministry of Commerce, the Cabinet had decided to carry out mandatory assessment of the imported fruits and vegetables to determine if they are fit for human consumption. The vehicles carrying the imports were stopped at the border itself after the information about it was published on the National Gazette, to which the Indian Embassy expressed its written discontent. The anticipated assessment, however, could not move forward efficiently due to lack of adequate laboratories and staff. The government started checking the fruits and vegetables entering the country from India after determining that they comprise high proportions of toxic chemicals which are detrimental to human health. As per the existing regulation as well, any food items must go through mandatory assessment before they are imported. It is the responsibility of the government to make sure that only the items fit for consumption are allowed through the border, which is also the people's fundamental right. Analysts are of the view that instead of blatantly withdrawing the procedure, the government should put in place some concrete measures to test anything meant for consumption from entering the country so as to prevent its citizens from consuming poisonous food to their ultimate health hazards. Co-chairman of the ruling Nepal Communist Party Pushpa Kamal Dahal and Sangye Samajwadi Party's chairman Baburam Bhattarai have resorted to verbal volley which has occupied a significant space in the social media as well. The altercation ensued from a program in the capital yesterday afternoon organized for an official entry of some of the leaders of Samajwadi Party to Nepal Communist Party. Both NCP chairmen were present at the program. While addressing the event, Dahal not only asked Bhattarai, who was his longtime associate during the then Maoist rebellion and insurgency, to enter the ruling party, but also insisted that his intellect was of greater use in the ruling NCP. 
Pataray also responded, but with a tinge of sarcasm on Twitter, citing that if NCP needed any other person as intellectual think tank, there was no better person than gangster-turned-politician Deepak Manange, indicating the latter's recent entry into the ruling party. The argument between the two leaders in public has been received with a lot of interest by people, especially in the social media. The number of youths vying for abroad employment aimed at earning the living for their family members has increased in recent years. In this context, we had asked the locals of Parvat district what kind of policies should the state introduce in order to make the youth population independent with proper career prospects in the country itself. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Public voice. <laughs> Sirjana <laughs> Time now for our segment Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. And the question is why has the Prime Minister expressed his reservation towards the Parliamentary Committee's decision to cancel the hosting of IFA Award? Your options are A, not to one's liking, B, prestige issue, and C, immature decision. The voting is on. Type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And with that, time now for our special segment Media Watch. The Parliamentary International Relations Committee gave the government a directive on Tuesday to stop all procedures of organizing the International Indian Film Academy IFA Awards in Nepal. The Nepal Tourism Board stepped back on Wednesday following the directive of the International Relations Committee. Chief Executive Officer at the Nepal Tourism Board Deepak Raj Joshi informed that the decision to stop pursuing the event was reached following widespread criticism from the public and political quarters, including the directive of the Parliamentary Committee to put an end to the ongoing procedures. Before we wrap up, here's a look at the top stories once again. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli terms the Parliamentary Committee's directive to halt the hosting of IFA award in Nepal as unjustified, says discussions on holding the event continue. Government backtracks from its decision to test imported fruits and vegetables for poisonous chemical residues, the decision likely to risk the health of Nepalese consumers. India unveils a new budget projecting the Indian economy to cross $3 trillion this fiscal year. Sanctions a grant assistance of 10.5 billion Indian rupees to Nepal. And Pakistan knock off Bangladesh by 94 runs, but the win not enough to take them to the semis. New Zealand clinches the fourth semi-final berth in the ICC World Cup. And those were our latest headlines. Our next English bulletin will air at 11 a.m. Stay with us for more news and entertainment on Kantipu TV HD. Have a great day ahead.